What's up, YouTube fam? Um, it's your girl Leah and my cousin Kayla Shea. Follow me on Instagram, K dot L A S C H A E. And my social media will be somewhere on the screen. Um, but <laughs> today we're gonna be um, talking about um, advice we give to incoming college students, and it's basically gonna be our experience that we're gonna share with you all as um, current college students. And my cousin, Kayla Shea, will go first. Okay, advice. Okay, well, first off, I go to Louisiana State University. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Um, my major is biological engineering, mm -hmm. and I am currently a sophomore. If I can give any incoming freshman coming into college advice, I would say three things. Learn how to study now. Uh, do it in high school because you're gonna get to college and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm a straight A student <laughs> and I know everything and I'm gonna do fine. And yeah, no, you get your first F and you're like, well, what is this? I think they recalculated. I mean, I think they miscalculated the grades, whatever. But learn how to study now. Um, my second word of advice is to get involved. If you get involved, you'll meet a lot of people. And once you meet a lot of people, you know more people, you're gonna be invited to more things. You don't wanna be that college student that is just sitting at home. In their dorm room watching Netflix. Like. Yeah, I mean, that's cool every once yeah. in a while, but then college is gonna be miserable for you. It's gonna be your worst four years. Make it the best. Excellent. Um, My third advice would be to never give up and to focus because there will be a lot of distractions, as in um, your significant other, people are gonna wanna go out and party, but you have a test tomorrow, you're gonna wanna do illegal things, but you have to stay focused and um, don't give up because that's probably the worst thing you can do is give up on yourself when there's so many people supporting you. That's my advice. I second that. All right, great advice, Kayla Shea. Good words of wisdom. She's amazing, no, an amazing dancer too. Um, <laughs> hi, I already introduced myself, but I will say it again for those of you who don't know. My name is Leah Marie Wilson, um, or Leah Marie. Um, I go to Stevenson University. Go Mustangs. Um, it's in Baltimore, Maryland, or 20 minutes outside of Baltimore, and it's usually a quiet campus. It's not really much going on. But um, my word of advice for incoming freshman college students is basically the same thing she said. Make sure the first thing you do is network because networking is gonna be essential for your career and your major. Oh, I forgot to mention my major, but I'm a biology, bi oh Lord, biology <laughs> major, psychology minor. Um, yeah, and I'm a third year. And like I said, when you step on campus freshman year, there's going to be a lot of distractions. You'll have a sense of freedom and independence from your parents, but it's also a good opportunity for you to apply the knowledge and wisdom that you learn from your family and take it into college. Because like I said, and like she said, so many distractions and you're going to have to make that choice on whether you want to go to that party or study. And whatever choice you make, you have to deal with the consequences. And then I know I go to a school where academics is like their main priority. You're going to have to study your butt off. Because in college, it's not easy. You'll think you'll pass all your classes now or you'll pass your first test flying colors. No, it is not. I can attest to this. You know, um, you're gonna have to study like heck. Find a study group, go to tutoring sessions, talk with your professors, talk with your professors, form a relationship with your professors because it will be key. Like you'll want a recommendation and then you're gonna remember that favorite professor in your class and you'll want a recommendation from them. So study your butt off. Another thing, get involved on campus because that kind of ties into networking. Get involved on campus because you'll make new friends. You'll probably have new job opportunities. Um, you know, you might even get a job offer. You never know. So make sure you network. Get outside of your comfort zone because college really is a time for period. It's a period of self growth and you know self in, self improvement. And another thing I would say is enjoy college while you can because those four years will go by fast. And then, you know, next thing you know, graduating, you'll be graduating. You have to go out to the real world and actually start 
looking for jobs and probably buy a house. So enjoy college. But it's the best you ever I have life. two more actually. Oh, okay. okay. Preach. My first one. I was listening to what you were okay. saying. So my uh, other two advices. First thing, you don't have that much free time. You might think, oh, my classes, I get out by 10 a.m., I can sleep until 5, and then I'll get up and do homework. Let me tell you right now. You're going to go to sleep. You're not going to get up until like 7 o'clock. Then you're going to wake up, lollygag around, eat something, text some friends, and by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, your friends are going to do something. Y'all are going to link up, something. So do your homework, all your assignments, everything Early. while you can. If you while get out of class light, at 10 a.m., go to the library, do your homework, get it out of the way so then you have the rest of the day to do nothing. My second advice is use your resources. That's one thing that I struggled with my freshman year and I used it my sophomore year this first semester and it helped me a lot. Use your resources. There are always people out there trying to help you. There are tutors, your advisors, your teachers. No one wants to see you fail. So don't think that, oh, my teacher doesn't like me. Like They just don't care about me. They have like 500 other students you're just a number to them so you have to realize like they're not going to know who you are unless you make yourself known which is back to her point get to know your teachers i highly suggest you meet all your teachers that first week of school syllabus week meet them so they can see your face and don't just meet them that day go the next week and then go the week after so they're like okay who is this kid that keeps coming in? Let me actually get to know this person because they keep coming in my office and I don't know their name, so I need to learn their name at some point. But those are my last two advices. And the last thing I'll say um, is, like she said, take initiative because you're a young adult now. Nobody's gonna hold your hand, so take initiative. Um, like I said, there's so many resources. Reach out to them however you can because this is your life. And that's it for college advice. Please don't forget to subscribe.